What's going on guys? Welcome to uh, today's video. Today I just wanted to demonstrate basically how um, how to convert your texture packs from 1.4.7 to the upcoming uh, not yet released 1.5 update, the redstone update. Uh, basically before I start off I just want to show you this tweet from Dinnerbone, uh, a Mo Mojang developer on Minecraft basically, uh, Nathan Adams as you can see his name. Uh, just wanted to show you uh, a screenshot of one of his tweets uh, so it says texture pack author says handy tool that I wrote to try and turn your packs into a 1.5 format helps you to prepare so basically this this tool that is writ uh, there's a link there in the image I know you can't see all of it so what I'm going to do is uh, I'll get onto that when I start the screen recording in just a moment for yourselves uh, but basically this is um, a tool essentially that's going to convert your texture packs from 1.4.7 to 1.5 uh, rather than having to wait until the redstone update is fully released to uh, basically benefit from the new system uh, the new layer of texture packs because it's changing now unfortunately i'm not going to be demonstrating from what the differences are inside of the folder from 1.4.7 to 1.5 uh, i'm just going to show you you know where to get the tool download it how to use it what it does in game so on and so forth so um i guess without further ado i'll uh, go ahead and switch over to the next part of recording and uh, I'll, uh, I'll see you there and we're back so here we are uh this is my my desktop uh before i start i must excuse the video quality uh, i haven't used camtasia in quite some time i'm going to be rendering this out in sony vegas so uh the microphone quality seems fine and so does the the video quality but if there's any issues i do apologize okay so all you need to do is open up the internet browser of your choice uh, i'm already at the uh, page that we need here uh, basically I'm using Google Chrome and that's essential for the video um, basically the way that this download is set up is it's kind of like a, a Dropbox uh, thing and if you haven't ever used Dropbox it's basically a file sharing system that you host off your computer you put the files in file share uh, well Dropbox even and then when someone clicks the link to download it it goes straight from your computer to theirs regardless whether your computer is on or not it's complicated but I don't want to get too off track so basically all you need to do is come over to this link here uh, that's up in the top section I'm gonna leave it in the video description so just expand the video description and it will be clear to see um, and basically it will take you to this page and when you click this blue link here it'll open up a separate page and then in the bottom left this is why Google Chrome is essential as you can see in the bottom left it says uh, well, it says that the file can do harm to your computer. That's not true at all. As you can see, this is clearly the official account of Dinnerbone. Uh, and take my word for it. Um, do you want to keep the file? Yes. It's basically because it's a .jar file and Windows thinks that there's something going on. So, go ahead and click the file. And it will open up this here. I'll just close that in the background. And... Okay, so here we are page. again. Basically, I tried this once, uh, and with the Saga Continuous Pack that you see in front of you, uh, and it didn't work, unfortunately. So, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to try another texture pack. So, all you do is click the texture pack of your choice, but we'll go for John Smith. Uh, basically, make sure that the name is down below, that you've got it selected. Make sure this is on the zip texture packs, and go ahead and click Convert Texture Pack. And there you go, it's working fine cutting them all and converting them to the new format and at the bottom it should say all done and then the respective message that's there then all you need to do go ahead and close this that's that converted and then just go ahead and load minecraft and i'll uh, i'll show you in game the, the final result okay welcome back guys so here we are in the oh, a little bit of lag to start off with there is the world rendering but here we are in the old world that i started my let's play off with uh, I haven't been on this world for some time, so seeing all this is bringing back uh, a fair few memories and possibly a fair few ideas for my new Let's Play series. Uh, but anyhow, basically, we what we did there was basically converted the John Smith texture pack uh, from 1.4.7 to the new 1.5 layer. And if we press Escape here, go into Options, Texture Packs, you'll see that the John Smith texture pack is all while I'm working, done. 
I'm not sure if this is a 32 hole definition bit texture pack so you may need texture you may need to patch your minecraft before oh. <laughs> weird looking things so yeah yeah I'm, I'm guessing if we open too many items yeah this needs patching so you might need to patch your minecraft.jar I mean most of the textures are done uh, texture pack update required so some items may be missing so it's not I'm not sure if it's just this texture pack I mean it's converted and it's working you know the textures are there uh, so that's basically how you test if it is or isn't working and I have to say the the stairs there look rather nice so yeah guys that's that's pretty much it for this video I, uh, I hope you enjoyed if you've got any questions or comments uh, basically want to know how to do something regarding this whole thing or just want to leave a comment down below a suggestion anything feel free go ahead i'm always here i'm always responding to comments whenever i've got the opportunity and time to sit down and read through them um, some videos i get too many to to look at uh, more of the popular videos so i hope you've enjoyed this video guys but uh, that's been it for this tutorial and uh, i'll see you later